Welcome back to yet another map video where we take a look at the best maps I found and created. So let's get started. This first map shows us the world according to Google Street View in May 2024. It is cool to see that new countries are being added as well because I know that Germany and Austria weren't on this map before. Now Germany was added June of last year and Austria was added a few years ago. Can you imagine showing these two people 100 years ago, the Google Street View? Well, even to our parents, this is a crazy development. And if you understand me, Belarus is the new Germany. Here are all the countries where more than 20% of the population is aged plus 65. Basically, countries where the current young generation won't retire. And countries that have many years of economic difficulties ahead of them. You know, there is one country that nearly made it but didn't. The United Kingdom is at 19%. I think that without immigration it would be significantly more. One more thing, I think they missed South Korea on this map as well. It should be red. A world map found in the lobby of a Chinese hotel. It is interesting that the only two named countries are China, which was obvious, and the United States. Everything else is just continents. But it honestly looks like they're taking a crap on Australia. And they forgot to include Tasmania. But New Zealand is there. Kiwis will love this. But all in all, this is probably just a map of China with a world map as background, which is unfortunate. A map of the United States with almost all of its proposed states. Yeah, I think we're gonna need a bigger flag. You know, I'm having a hard time deciding which one of these is the most absurd. Maybe McDonald or North Slope. Bro, North Slope has like 5 people and Nevada without Las Vegas or Reno would have no population at all. Americans, what do you think about this? Is there actually any proposed state that would benefit you? Now, you listen carefully because this is interesting. None of the countries that bordered Poland before 1990 exist today. Basically, four countries enter, one country lives, and that one country is Poland. I have always said to people that Polish people are the strongest people. This is the best example of it. And what the hell, Germany looks like it's eating Czechoslovakia. Well, it did at one point. Okay. Another European map, because I know you love them, again. Every dot you see is a football pitch. This is a crazy map. How the hell did they get the data for every single football pitch? Must be a hell of a work. And Americans, football means soccer. You know, honestly, I expected more football pitches to be in England. And you might be asking, why are there so few in Spain? Basically, it's pretty empty low population density and they are one of the best football players in the world Vamos arriba España, coño. peak of the largest empires in history the mongol empire and the british empire look i have no idea whether i've already used this map in my previous videos but still it is pretty insane to think that the two of the biggest empires in history only overlap in a couple places. To think Mongols really were speedrunning Asia, unlocking those islands quick like in GDA. These two empires are making the Roman Empire and the Ottoman Empire look like city-states. This is Cyprus, an island divided. Many many people have no freaking idea what the hell is going on in Cyprus, so this map helps explain. You might be asking, what is this line? Well, it's a corridor connecting the two bits of the military base. I kept thinking and thinking, if you look at the shape of Cyprus, it actually reminds of the United States a bit. Now that we're already talking about the Mediterranean countries, it's all about perspective. This is the Mediterranean Sea, but have you ever seen it this way? It looks so narrow, but now we turn it and... Yeah, it really changes the perspective, doesn't it? Isn't it funny that Turkey looks like Michigan? I always knew it. 
Map of the 2191 meter deep Grubera Cave The deepest known cave system in the world This cave is located in Georgia, close to the Russian border And I feel claustrophobic just by looking at that You know, this is that one cave in Minecraft where I give up trying to find my way back up People from Georgia watching this video, tell me, have you ever been to that cave? Before in this video, we took a look at all of the football pitches in Europe. Now, this map shows us the tennis court density of Europe. East Germany is visible here, and Czechia can into Western Europe. But damn, South England does love some tennis. What is even more impressive is that there are basically no tennis courts in Serbia and Djokovic is just a legend. This map is basically aka every European map. The world map of hair colors. Here's an interesting fact. 2% of humans worldwide are all blonde and 2% are red, while 70% have all black hair. Look, I lived one year in South America and the majority of people with blonde hair belong to the upper class and to some upper middle class. It's very rare to see someone from the middle class with blonde hair and close to impossible to see someone from the lower class with blonde hair. That in South America confused me a lot because I am really blonde and in Estonia it doesn't mean anything. We talked about hair colors but what about the skin colors? To be honest, this map really doesn't need a key. The key is just confusing and spreads wrong info, so ignore that. But still, I am pretty sure that this is not very accurate. For example, New Zealand should be darker for the Maori people. Anyways, it is a cool map, leaving out the random stuff. What do you think? Is this map any true? Every country's most popular beer. Now, this is not the beer from the country or made in the country, but just the most popular beer in the country. What the hell is snow beer in China? Okay, I need your answers again. Is this map any true? And finally, a controversial topic for you. The legal state of abortion. Is it legal to have an abortion or is it illegal or is it something else? Take a look at this map. And if you're ready to answer, I will ask you this. Are you pro-life or no? If you're still here, comment I love maps and I'll be happy I guess. Okay, until next time. Bye bye.